Hi, this is the third and last video about all the things you need to do to prepare your drone for safe and smooth flying. In this one, I will drive you through all the different calibration you need and all the useful general settings you need to know before flying, apart from the ones already covered in the previous two videos. I will be using a DJI Mavic 2 Zoom but most of the settings are the same for all DJI models. The menus of these birds are quite intimidating, but I will only show the functions that are really needed, so you will see it will be very easy. From the next video on, I promise that I will concentrate only on happy flying, and the real fun will start. Let's get going! My last two videos were about the best setting for video shooting and the best setting for gimbal and aircraft control. So I'm not going to cover these topics here. I will post a link to those videos at the end. IMU stands for Inertia Measurement Unit. It controls the balance of the drone during flight. Whenever you detect some wild or unfriendly behavior in your drone flight, Calibrating the IMU can solve the problem. I was in Oxford for four days, and as you can see, when I took out my drone, it started to behave in a totally crazy way. I was seriously worried that something had gone wrong. So I went back to my hotel and calibrated the IMU. Then I tried to start the drone again, and it worked perfectly. In recent weeks, the gimbal of my Mavic started to get big jumps from time to time, as you can see, and the problem got worse day by day. Once again, I calibrated the IMU and the gimbal as well, and the problem was again solved. You should calibrate the IMU when unboxing your drone, and every time you notice unbalanced flying. Here's how you do it. Place the drone in a perfectly flat surface, in a case of a Mavic model, folded. Remove the gimbal protection, turn on the drone and the remote control. Tap on the usual three dots on the right hand corner and then on the top icon on the left. Go to advanced settings at the bottom, tap on sensors and then calibrate IMU. The DJI app will show you the different positions for your drone, as well as a progress bar for each position. As you can see, it's a quite fast operation and it does not involve any pain for the operator or for the drone. Before performing IMU calibration, you might want to take the props out. So let's have a quick look on how to do it. In a set of four propellers, there are two of them with a grey circle around the center point. They have to be mounted on the corresponding arm with a grey circle. Push down and turn gently to the left to insert them. To take them out, push down and turn to the right. The opposite prop doesn't have the grey circle. It goes on the black arm and it operates in the opposite direction. Note that the system of the propellers is the same on the Phantom models, but of course the arms do not fold. Anytime your camera is not moving as expected, calibrating the gimbal is a good idea and it might fix the problem. It is extremely simple to do it. Tap on the usual three dots on the right, then on the sixth icon on the left to enter the gimbal settings. Make sure that the gimbal is free to move in all directions and that aircraft is on a level surface. Then tap on Gimbal Auto Calibration. The process will only take a few moments. While we are in the Gimbal setting menu, let's have a quick look at a couple of other options. Set the Gimbal mode to Follow so that the gimbal will keep the horizon alignment even when the drone is leaning sideways. I've already covered the advanced setting in my previous two videos, linked at the end of this one. Then we have the option camera forward down, 
in other versions of the software, it appears as centering camera. It toggles the camera between facing down, facing forward. But in a previous video, we have already assigned this function to one of the buttons underneath the remote control for quick access. Very, very useful. The last option is adjust gimbal roll. Useful when the image is not aligned to the horizon. Tap on the right left arrows to adjust the roll by small increments. Compass calibration is to be performed only when prompt by the DJI Go4 app, generally because of magnetic interference. I have seen all sorts of controversy on the internet about how to perform a compass calibration, but I must say that I found it extremely easy and always worked perfectly. Let's have a go. Tap on compass calibration and the app will give on-screen instructions. First, rotate the drone 360 degrees parallel to the ground. Then, turn the drone to perpendicular to the ground and again rotate 360 degrees. The app indicates to rotate it to the left or anti-clockwise. But in my experience, it works in both directions. The best way to do it is to keep the drone steady while circling around it. The only downside is that if someone sees me, I will look like an absolute fool. Make sure to be far from large metal objects and other magnetic interference. As easy as that. Let's have a look to all the general settings that we need to adjust. The really useful ones are not many, so you will see it will be very quick. I've already covered all the ones relating to video settings and to gimbal and aircraft controls. So please relate to my previous videos. Let's tap on the quad position icon. We have a choice to enable multiple flight mode. If we enable it, we can access sport and tripod modes besides the default positioning mode. This mode can be selected by a switch on the right of the remote controller. I really like tripod mode, especially for low flying in narrow spaces. So I like to have this function selected. The downside is that it is possible to move the switch by mistake and have the drone uh, unwillingly take off in sport mode, which can be dangerous. So it is up to you to turn this function on or off. Then we can set maximum altitude and maximum flight distance. I suggest to set it according to your local laws and regulation. I used to live in the UK, where maximum altitude is 120 meters, but now I'm in Italy and the limit is 70 meters. Maximum flight distance is almost everywhere based on the line of sight, which is around 300 to 400 meters. Let's now tap on the second icon from the top. Make sure that Enable Visual Obstacle Avoidance is turned on. Going on Advanced Setting, we access more of Obstacle Avoidance options. I suggest to have them all on. The latest generation of DJI drones have excellent features to prevent accidents. This is a very good idea to take advantage of it. On the third icon from the top on the left, there is an option to calibrate the remote controller. You should only do it in the rare occurrence of malfunctions in the remote controllers. Be sure to be away from large metal objects. You don't need to turn on your drone. In the menu, choose Remote Control Calibration and tap on Calibrate and then on Start. There will be instruction on screen uh, to rotate the controller stick in all direction. And to rotate the dial in each direction. Then tap finish. The entire process should only take one minute. Let's now move to the fifth icon from the top, showing a battery. I prefer to set the low battery warning at 15%, as I never fly at more than 300 meters distance, so I can land very quickly. 
make sure that smart return to home is enabled. In this case, the bird will come back to the nest before the batteries die. Now let's tap at the icon with three dots at the bottom. Here we can set the measurement units in metric or imperial for our friends in the UK or the United States and maybe some part of the Commonwealth. I use metric because I prefer life to be simple. If you select cache during video shooting, the footage will be recorded to the smartphone or tablet as well as the SD card. I personally leave it off. Cool! And this is it. We are done with this series of three videos that I would call boring but extremely useful things you need to know before you fly your drone. You will probably have to refer to the other two videos as well, so I will put a link about them. There. From the next video on, I promise that we'll all be happy flying and much more exciting stuff. So join the happy gang and hit the subscribe button below. Bye for now and fly safe.